Hello Fancy Gamers, welcome back. It's been a long time, uh, I know I haven't broadcast for ages, uh, or made a video or anything for ages, uh, life has been busy, um, but what can I say, I'm back now and I've got some things ready for you to do in the pipeline um, involving Fancy and of course games. Um, so I thought the first thing we could do was have a look at this game that I'm showing you right now, Age of Wonders, and it's basically like a huge um, computer game, board game, and uh, I love this game. As soon as I saw it, uh, I was age 12, a friend of mine had the game, and uh, uh, we had a go at playing, and I was just immediately captured by the strategy involved, the theme, I mean, uh, the beautiful artwork, the music, it just had everything and at the time I was playing Age of Empires, Age of Empires 2 and this just was perfect to come along. So uh, let's have a look at this game, what it is, how you play it and then we'll see how you can get involved. I've got it in this this uh, windowed mode at the moment because uh, when I tried to run the game and the recording software it wasn't very happy with it and it kept shrinking the screen down to a small size so I put it in the window mode and uh, we'll just have to deal with that for this part here. So let's open up the scenario and see how you play. So um, it's I'll just open up a single player game. So you've got 12 different races in Age of Wonders You've got the neutral alignment races of humans, Azrax, Lizardmen and Frostlings. You've got the good races of Elves, Halflings, Dwarves, Hymen. So all classic fantasy stuff, which is brilliant. And then with the evil races, you've got Dark Elves, Orcs, Goblins and the Undead. Uh, I'll put it to classic, which just means it's turn-based on this one. And one of the awesome things is customised leaders that as well, lead us on that. So in this game your leader is really important. Your leader is you and you appear as a little figure on the screen um, and if you die, if your leader dies, that's it. You've lost the game and obviously the object is to, to wipe out everyone else or wipe out the other team if you're allied. So you can choose a portrait, you can change your name if you like, so let's put in Fantasy Gamer, um, and uh, I did. I could have changed, but I've, I've elves. Okay, and then this is like customising the leader, so we can clear everything. And you get 55 skill points in this, and you can buy different abilities here. So that you've got things like archery, you've got uh, things like protection from various elements, so cold protection, death protection. Um, death protection isn't <laughs> protection from death, it's protection from like evil magic. Um, you've got abilities like life stealing, so every time you wound someone you get, uh, so you heal some of your life, that's quite good. Lightning strike, that's quite good. And of course you've got things like spell casting, so let's take a bit of spell casting. Let's make him an uber spell caster, spell casting three, and we'll give him a bit of defense because uh, it's not very good to get hit easily. So these um, values here, the first four, the max value is 10. Okay, so 10's the best. And then hits can go up to 20, so there's your life points. And then moves can go up to 50. And moves is how you move around the map, basically. Let's put that on there. And last thing we'll do, we'll give him uh, something on here. Let's give him... Hmm. Oh, it's given wall climbing, so you can climb over walls. Okay, right, next. Okay, so in Age of Wonders, your leader uh, can research spells and cast spells. They start off with spell casting 1, default, and I've upgraded mine to spell casting 3. And you can choose spells um, from seven different, uh, sorry, six different spell books. Okay, and it's life, fire, earth, death, water, air. But if you pick life magic, it automatically means you can't pick death magic. And if you pick air magic, it means you can't pick earth magic. And if you pick fire magic, then you can't pick water magic. Okay, so there's ways, so all these have different spells in, and some people like one 
uh, better than the other, and uh, but it won't let you take the opposite side of the spectrum. And you can take a number of spheres up to a max of four in one in one um, area of magic. And what that is is the spells get more powerful the more spheres you have. So level one, if you just have one sphere, that only gives you access to level one spells. If you take two spheres, then you get the level two spells as well for life. And the most powerful spells are the level four spells. Um, so you get seven spheres to choose from. So you could go for three different kind of all up to level two, one of them on level three. Or you can go really powerful on one of them and have a little bit of fire and a couple of earth. Or you can go just for two and have like quite powerful earth, quite powerful life. It's up to you. So that's why I've just picked that randomly and go for that. Right. Now we're into the actual game itself. So you get a bit of blurb, what you have to do, conquer the map. There's 12 people on the map, all the races are there. Um, yeah, it's classic single player. First thing you have to do is start researching a spell. So uh, the yellow ones are the life spells that I was uh, choosing spheres of earlier, and the green ones are the earth spells. And then everyone has access to cosmos, and they, they're kind of like basic spells that everyone has access to, like enchant weapon, dispel magic. Okay. So you do start off with some spells, but the rest of them you have to research. So I'm going to research stone skin. So let me show you um, the magic first, since that came up first. So here's what I'm researching. Um, hmm, why hasn't that increased? Nope, oh, okay, must be the max it's on. Right. Uh, so here it's going to take me five turns to research stone skin, um, but actually I've got uh, 20, access to 20 power, 20 mana, uh, mana, depends how you want to say it, and I can skew that in favour of research, and as I do that you can see it's now going to research stone skin quicker, okay? Um, why might I do this? Let's put it on where it changes, seven is going to change. Okay, so now you can see uh, down in this corner, you've got mana here. So I've got 20 mana and I'm getting plus seven every uh, turn. And I've got 250 gold and I'm getting plus seven gold every turn. Okay, uh, so this is my hero. You can, uh, this is me. You can see that I'm in this group because there's a little crown above my shield there. You see a little crown. And here he is, Fantasy Gamer. And here's the spell casting. So if I want to cast a spell, I click on it, it says use spell casting. And you've got different spells down here at the bottom. Global spells happen on the global map. So this one is going to rejuvenate desert, step, ice, and wasteland into fertile grassland. This one is ones you can give to units and people enchant weapons that makes him attack plus one and damage plus one so that's a really good spell so I'll, I'm going to do that one in a second and then this one these are combat spells so I have one combat spell which is slow at the moment and that's past the target's mobility okay so I'm going to cast enchant weapon so uh, cast it and I can choose how many people I'm going to cast it on um, I've only got 20 mana so I can only cast it uh, twice so I'm going to cast it on both uh, the scout and myself. I can't cast it on the battering ram, and I can't cast it on an archer because they're not—they um, don't have uh, melee weapons. Okay, so casting it on those two. And so now, when I click on him, you'll see he has enchanted weapon there, and look, his stats for attack and damage have gone up from three to four. Right, so what do you do in this game? Well, obviously you want to uh, take out the opponent's leaders. And how do you do that? Well, you need to build troops, and you do that from your cities. Um, you need to gain more money, and you do that by um, taking more cities and taking areas like this. This is a farm. It gives you 12 money. It says income 12. There's gold mines. They give you income as well. Um, this is a watchtower over there, so... We'll 
send that guy off to the watchtower. Okay, see a lot more of the map. Um, so what we got? We got an orc city over here, population orcs. Okay, and they're independent, so they're not owned by any player, so no one's going to get upset if I attack them. Over here we've got some more elves, they're independent as well, so they might like me, they might join me for a price, so let's send the guys over there to talk to them. So they'll join me for 86 gold, okay, so that's fine, so that city's now mine, you can see the flag has gone green. So how do you build troops? Well, you click on your city, you can just double click, and it goes into the city screen. This city is called Toadwood. Uh, it's got all your stats. It's elves. They're happy. This is my income. It's giving me 21 a turn. It's got a wooden wall around it. Um, yeah. Then it's producing merchandise at the moment. But what I can do is I can click on uh, produce elf archer. Cost me 17. And press produce. And it's going to produce an elf archer in two turns okay so these really small cities this one this one these are level one cities so they can only produce your basic units like archers and swordsmen and battering rams this one you can see is two two hexes big and that's a level two city that'll produce some better troops and then there's level three cities and level four cities and the troops get better and better as you go up the levels and everyone wants a level four city because then you get access to your best um, unit for your race and the elves have like as they're level four they have a, a big kind of walking tree elemental called uh, nature's elemental which is basically an ent from lord of the rings so that's quite cool um, yeah so that's the map there's all sorts of other things on the map. There's a sign here saying the undead haunt these woods. There's some of the undead there. Okay. Um, and yeah, you just move around the map, conquering various places, um, getting new cities, building troops. Um, this one is a spring of life. Here we've got a castle ruin. Inside the castle ruin uh, is some baddies, and then once you've killed them, they'll drop some items and so on your your leader it has slots where you can put your items so you've got slots for rings uh, a breastplate a helmet a shield a sword and then you've got these slots which are for like other items like trinkets and things and if there was an item on the ground to pick up it would appear here and then you pick it up and move it across and yeah they give you loads of different abilities so there's ways of picking up things improving your your uh, leader and you can get other heroes which are like your leader throughout the game but obviously um, and they're really good but you won't lose if you lose one of them um, you just uh, lose a hero rather than losing the game whereas if this guy dies that's it fantasy gamer is out okay um, let me think so that's we kind of done a little bit of how you play it's probably all a bit murky still um, I'll just I'll, ga I'll tell you what I'll gather the troops we'll go have a bash at this just really quickly so I'll gather them all up and um, move them along to there okay so once you've done all the moves you want for a turn you click end turn here and then it will do all the other other players along the bottom and if anyone moves that's in your line of sight uh, then uh, it will show you on the screen okay so back to me here's the troops they've got renewed all their movement points and they're moving into the castle ruins um, so here we go I've got a stack of five of them now and um, we're gonna yeah attack the castle ruins so it says search castle ruins so when you get to a battle you can either click automatic which means the computer will fight it for you uh, or you can click tactical and do it yourself um, tactical is always more fun you can move the individual troops uh, and see what happens so here we are inside the dungeon okay here's my troops and it works just the same as the world map 
You move your guys using their movement points around the map, and we're looking to find uh, some baddies. So I'm just going to move them back a little bit just in case someone's hiding over there. And move up all the other guys. And yeah, let's just find someone to kill quickly. Right, no one there. Okay, there's a bat, which is bad news because it's flying and I'm melee. So I can't attack him. So I'm going to run off and we'll bring up the archers because they can actually shoot a bat. Don't want to do that. Here's the bat. What is it? A doom bat. Okay, right. End turn. Let's see what the doom bat does. He's flown off. Okay. Bring up the archers. He's not going to get away from me. I've never seen it run off before, actually. I know that they made some changes when they uh, did an update for this game. But I've never seen um, a, a unit, a flying unit, run off. Usually they just attack you for melee. Oh, he's come round, okay. So he's going, oh, he's going after me, he's going after the leader. Oh, how annoying. Right, let's cut him off then. Right, there we go. Right, right, okay, he's going to attack that guy. So he's just playing chicken. Okay, so we've done two there. Looks like that archer's going to die. It's not looking good. Aren't the archer still alive? Good. He's been poisoned. He's got two health left. Okay, that bat's nearly dead. Looks like I'm going to lose an archer, but the second one's going to finish him off. Yeah, so he's dead. Right, second archer comes in and finishes him off. Okay, so that's how you kill someone. If at any point you're like, actually, this was a nightmare. There's a guy in there and he's just going to kill all my troops. I want to get out. Then you can just retreat by going out the exit like this. And then once all your troops are out, it'll end the combat. Oh, so when you kill troops, you gain experience and uh, you can get silver medal and then gold medal. So this archer's got a silver medal now because he killed quite a high level, uh, a higher level unit than him, the Doom Bat. And that's given him an extra ability. So he's got marksmanship too, and that gives him some extra attack and damage when he shoots his bow. So little archer doing. Uh, Sterling job there. The other chap sadly perished. Okay, so um, now I'll just show you the combat if we did it on automatic. So it's it will remember that that Doom Bat was dead, so we'll fight the rest of them. So there was another two in there, which means uh, the archer's probably going to die because he's not going to be able to take them on. And everyone else ran off because they can't attack the Doom Bats because they're not uh, ranged. So that was a bit of an anti-climax, so that's a shame. I was hoping to show you some of the weapons that you can get from from there, but it's, it's not to be. Right, so I guess that moves us on to um, uh, where to get the game and how we're going to do it uh, online together. So uh, let's get out of this one and go back to the title. So... Basically, you can get this game um, at Good Old Games, or you can find it on Steam. Or if you're having trouble uh, getting it in those two places, or you want to know somewhere else to get it, then have a look at my Fantasy Gamer webpage, and I'll post on there another way of getting it as well. And uh, what I'm suggesting we do is we do a scenario like After the Fall, um, but instead of doing it single player, we do it uh, multiplayer, so uh, we we'll do it over the internet like this, and so uh, we'll do something like that, and we toast the game. I just haven't done this right. And yeah, we get to choose one of these, and then everyone would join in with um, 
picking a race, okay? So elves, halflings, dwarves, highmen, any of these fantasy races. And we would play with simultaneous moves. So a bit different to classic where you have as much time as you like to do your turn. In simultaneous moves, um, you're still going to have as much time as you like, but uh, it, if you're close to someone else, then you're going to want to quickly click your guys to move on them because they'll be doing their turn at the same time as you. Um, we probably won't allow tactical combat um, at all because if two players get into a tactical combat... Oh, should we allow it? All right, we, we, we'll, we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it, I guess. Uh, maybe we'll just do tactical combat between humans. So that way uh, it's not going to uh, take ages for people to do their turns. Definitely have allied victory. That allows for people to do lots of diplomacy. You can talk to each other during the game using the messaging system in the game. Definitely have customised leaders uh, so that you can uh, change the name of your leader obviously in the picture and, and uh, give him the abilities that you want to give him. Um, yeah. And, and then what I'm suggesting we do is we would have a session maybe once a week of say half an hour to 45 minutes of doing some turns on this and see how we go from there. If people are like, oh this is terrible, then we could just stop. Uh, and if no one's interested at all, then I think what I'm going to do is a, a let's play um, of a mission because I'm really excited about... Um, Age of Wonders at the moment because I've just got back into it. So, but it, but hopefully there'll be a few people out there who want to play a game. And we don't have to get all 12. If we don't get all 12, we can just set the other people to um, computer. And so, no one wants to be humans. They can be a computer. Um, everyone else would be humans. Would be uh, human players. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so that's it really. So, if you're interested in playing. Um, and if you want any more information about how to play, then sign up and I will, if, if there's loads of questions, I'll do another video about other bits in the game, how things work. But I think this is one of these things where if you just get it and have a look at the tutorial yourself, if I uh, exit that and show you, there's a really good tutorial, explains everything you need to know about the game as well. Yeah, so that's the tutorial button, and uh, that's it. Yeah, so if you want to join me playing Age of Wonders, Fantasy Gamer, go to the Facebook page, sign up on the, the thread there. It's going to be a great game. Bye for now.